Hello, and welcome to my first real video where I actually talk. All of the recordings are made live, so sorry if something's been a bit repetitive. This will be a Let's Play series for Elden Ring, where I will be playing strictly using bows. So the idea here is that any and all damage I do has to come from a bow. This means no summons, no consumables that deals damage, and nothing that deal damage to the enemies outside of a bow. This will be a bit of a longer episode as I combine the preparation part with the first part of the actual game or story. With that being said, let's get going. Alright, so we're just gonna speed through this real quick. Since there isn't really anything of value here. We're gonna get to the good parts where we have the bows actually play our build. So we're just gonna skip down to the side here so we get through this fast. I chose the rune since, well, it doesn't matter really what you start with. You can play this on any character. Just to, to further prove that you don't, you don't need to to actually have stuff. Golden seed would probably be a better starting choice in general, but it is totally possible without using any items to boost you early. It's also why we, we chose a wretch. Because we only have our little club that we start with. So our first goal is to get to Kaelid. And there are a few things we are going to pick up so we can get going with the build. Which is amongst other the serpent bow and Interesting talisman. We will need to pick up some uh, crafting books uh, and also some of the materials needed to get going. Oh, come to the left. Of course, you unfortunately without guy, you are fate. Alright. Not sure if we actually have to talk to him, so we're gonna skip that. So we are going to have to farm a bit before we actually can get the build going and um, I'm personally not a fan of uh, chasing the big dragon in Caleb for a bunch of runes so I'm not going to be doing that you don't need a whole lot of runes early either but if if you do want to do that that's totally fine and it's, it speeds up this process that we're gonna do a whole lot I will be cutting that out later, regardless, so you won't have to see the, the painful thing. I'm gonna sell that, I'm gonna buy the crafting book. Uh, that that's, that's all we need for now. Goodbye. Uh, nice thing business. Should probably have turned off tutorials, right? I'm gonna keep getting those pop-ups for a while. That might be a bit annoying. We're just gonna make our way over to the gate front. And then we're going to grab a somber smithing stone. So we're gonna grab a somber smithing stone and then we're gonna head to Caleb when we have our horse. And that's about it. And then we will go and pick up our bow and our talisman before we head over to the next area. So 
So we'll grab this and we should get Me uh, Melina to come and give us the torrent. And there she is. Have you they serve it you? I can play turning wood to aid so you. So we're just gonna exhaust her dialogue. Then it summon me. Ah, I bequeath. Thank you. Use it. it will sound horrid to treat him with. Uh, we might Shall as well level up a bit here. Share them with me. We need. Let's Your see. Thoughts. What do we actually need for the serpent? But Your we're gonna ambitions. need. I think it's eleven the arcane ring. You would follow. And I'm not sure about the deck. I think it's. 14 potentially uh, but let's just level up a bit now because we are going to suicide run uh, and it would be a shame to lose the runes we have even if it's not by a lot First Umbra Smithing Stone that we need. Now we just de aggro this guy and get down into the lake. Now we're gonna run over to the ruins here and we are going to grab one of those uh, portals that leads us straight to Caleb. And then. Uh, we need to make our way through the swamp. What is this? Oh, this is one of Forgot that was there. Oh, let's see, there's a bunch of rats in here, so I'm gonna try and just get past them. We'll lure them away a little bit. Come, come. We will take a hit here, most likely. Ah. Even two. But I don't want to. I don't want to kill them. It takes time, which doesn't really give anything. See me. The little shooters. I think we're good. We're having this and we're sitting down. Alright. So now we're over in Kaled. I see you. We don't have the map, but as you might see, we're we're over in Kaled. So we will be going. Uh, so we should be going this way. I think this. A little bit unsure now. It's been a while since I ran this route. But we want to get out of the swamp and up on the surrounding areas. I do believe we're going over there somewhere. We're heading up and we're going around. Uh, yeah, should be. These are... And those butterflies do not respawn by the way, so... The only way to actually get a lot of them is to farm mobs that have extremely small drop rate. We, we would use them to get Crimson Rot Arrows, which, I mean, isn't really like a viable thing in my opinion. There's gonna be too few of them, and if you die on a boss, all the arrows on you are basically wasted, you don't get them back. So, 
it's not really a consistent source. Fit to determine if you had it seems torrent, whereas I may there is but no, I'm guessing yeah exactly around the whole table. No we do not want to go there yet. You can you can wait with that a bit. So now we have taken that one. There's another grace up here. Don't know why they are so freaking close. Makes no sense. But we will take that one too. And now I need to try and remember if I can write. Uh, let's do this this one first. We'll get the talisman after. <coughs> so we are heading up to the next graze over there, as you can see on the distance there along the road. And then we will make a suicide run for our bow that we want to be using. And it's 100% a suicide run, there ain't no way you will actually survive. We are way too low level, but they way too little gear for that. And we will lose our 300 souls, which is essentially nothing, right? So, it's not biggie. Which is why I also leveled up before. Just to not lose that like 2300 or whatever we had. Here is the abandoned cave. Do a little jump. And here comes the annoying part. And having something with quick step here, which I obviously don't have, would be a uh, tremendous help. Oh, I'm dead, I think. Oh, okay, nice. We will grab those. Get over here. Heal again. And we are over there. Let's heal once more. We jump over here. And we grab this. It's our bow. Now we're gonna die. our bow, so that's good. Now all we need to do is get the talisman, that's gonna boost our attacks by roughly 10%, I think it is if I remember correctly. Yep, we died, that's fine. We will go outside here and we can travel down to the previous grace we took. We're gonna follow the road south instead this time, down to Red Main Castle. Uh, there we go. And there is there are there are a few ways that you can farm souls uh, without chasing the big dragon or by going and killing it. Um, one of them is uh, next to Red Main Castle, where you can essentially trick the dogs to attack the the human knights. You can more or less go AFK for a while and you will get quite a few souls, or uh, you can, uh, well, simply grind out some of the Godric soldiers or whatever in uh, Limgrave as well. That also works. It is a slow method though. I uh, would not recommend it if you want to speed it or like run through the game faster. Uh, but I don't want to kill the big dragon as I want to try and do that with a bow, I believe. So we might actually do that this, this playthrough. Uh, and I want to do that by tackling the, the small dragons, not by, by chasing it with bait and stuff. So... We'll see how that goes. Now, I'm a little bit unsure. Where is the grace? It's supposed to be a grace here somewhere. at these mobs because I don't want to deal with them. There we go. And then we are making our way south now. To the castle. And 
We are not actually going to empty the castle because there's literally nothing for us. This is nothing for us down there, but there is something that we are going to grab, be able to grab. Oh, I hate the bird. I feel like that is so hard to out run. Just gonna trigger the dogs here. It's fine. And I can show you a bit of how the farm would work. You would trigger the dogs and the humans. You would just get out. And you would just wait. And you're gonna see the stuff we're going to be dying. As you see, they are now fighting each other. And I just got 100 souls. Another 300 there. Like, it's not the fastest way. But it is very AFK, you just run there and then you can stand here for a few minutes and it's just going to give you a couple of souls, right? Or runes, I mean, rather. Souls is uh, other Dark Souls game. Let's see. They are triggered. This might be a rough one as well. This is most likely also a suicide run though, the same, so... I don't think I will be able to kill these two. Oh, well. Will you come down or are you gonna stay up there? You're gonna stay up there, huh? Alright. I think that better choice might have been to just try and sneak past and go. Because now, as if I go up here, you're gonna see what's happening, right? He is going to try and melee me, right? And they're both done. They will not climb, I believe. Yeah, they, exactly. They don't climb. So you can trick them into falling over the edge, apparently. Did not know that. That is a very useful tip. And then we want the chest that is in that corner behind that knight. I'm gonna see if I can make this guy fall down too. I highly doubt I'm going to be able to make that happen though, because it's a spear guy. Oh well, I didn't make the jump. Let's try that again. Alright, as you saw we had like 2000 something souls there, just from this, this shit farm here. Um, I guess we're just gonna try and get this path up now. Whatever. It is also going to be easier to do this if you are indeed playing a another uh, character. We'll take damage. You guys are going to climb, however. That is unfortunate. We are going to run for this. That and we die for it. But we have our talisman. Uh, I'm not going to go back up and try and get the souls. It isn't worth it. Because I don't need them anyways at the moment. And also we can check what was it that I needed. I need 15 dexterity. So starting as the wretched, we technically only need to level up, I think it's six times, right? To hit level seven. So we have 15 dexterity and then the 11 accuracy that we need. Uh, we've leveled up three times already. So we would only need to level up three times more. Uh, other classes obviously have different starting uh, items and starting sets that they start with. Uh, which means that you actually don't have to uh, maybe even level up at all. Or you might need, not need to level up as much. Or you might need to level up even more depending on... Well, some of them do have negatives in, in some of the stats. So you might need to level up more if you, you pick that. But there are, there are choices like the Samurai and the Bandit that both starts with uh, a bow and arrows. Which is probably more fitting to play as a bow character. Uh, they also usually start with stats more befitting of uh, the playstyle. Since bows in general don't really scale well with uh, stats. 
either. They scale way better with uh, talisman buffs, etc. They don't really scale with stats all too well. So your best bet if you actually do want to scale damage is, is trying to not go by raw stats but by going by, by talismans or whatever that you can find that buffs the type of damage that you are trying to do. And uh, this playthrough we're just doing a normal, kinda open, whatever kinda source of damage, right? So we will be using the, the serpent bow to do uh, poison to do bleeding, uh, etc. early on, and then later on uh, we will be using um, the black bow, most likely, because it's, it's the best bow uh, in the game, pretty much. Uh, and then we will probably be using Rolan's bow as well, because it has a pretty good Ash of War on it, uh, as well as like using his, his uh, arrows that goes along with it, because they, they synergize with each other. They give each other, uh, or rather the spears increase the damage by like 20% or something, um, if used with their own spell. So that is, that is a pretty big damage modifier that we want to access. Um, but again, the spears are very expensive, especially early on, and you would have to kill Rodon for it, so... It's not really something we will be doing early game anyways, it's something we will be doing more like mid-game. So for the starters we are going to use Serpent Bow, and that, that's probably the only bow we will be using to deal with the majority of the early game, uh, especially Stormwell Castle. And we are going to be crafting some Blood Arrows as well, since... Uh, it's a very reliable way of getting some some that man out with the bleed rocks. It isn't needed with the serpent bow, uh, especially since we are going to be upgrading it before we actually start. But it is nice to get the extra damage procs, which might happen like once or twice in a fight, depending on how how fast you can get your arrows out. The more you have to dodge, the, the longer time it obviously takes to build up the bleeding, since it continuously deviates. But it's uh, it's definitely a, a, a bigger chunk of damage that you get for free. The arrows themselves are relatively easy to, to actually obtain. So we're going to learn, you know, uh, for one simple reason, and it's to get the upgrade materials that we need to hit a plus 4 bow uh, as well as the actual farm where we want to farm the, the blood roses which is in a, a very extremely boring process of suiciding like a ten, 10 million times no, but like a bunch of times uh, is to get the the, the the material we need to craft the arrows like the blood arrows so we're just gonna run run all the way down there uh, yeah, well, I'll show you where the, the farm is and how you do it before before I cut it out so you don't have to see the entire boring process. So we'll take this graze here. Uh, no reason to speak to that guy since we don't actually have any any room anyways. Not mistaken, it does sell some kind of cookbook, but I'm not sure if it's for arrows or not. Smithing one, and we have two normal ones, right? So we can make another weapon into something as well if we want to. But we are only going to be using bows, so we only need the somber for now. And sit down. Okay. Okay, so we are going to travel to Academy Gate Town. Uh, we can just run straight this way up here. Very simple path. You can even follow the the kind of road that exists here, as you see. 
you will make it up here. It is very hard to miss this grace. Uh, you will also see that there is the the map icon. I can't really show you now because uh, you're going to see one of these on the map as well when it's grayed out, and you know that that's where, that's that's where you're gonna head. And the the map thing is quite literally here, right? It's this one. As you see, it's literally on top of the grace. So if you just mark that on your map and you move to that one, you will be 100% on the right path, and there is no way you're gonna be missing. Uh, the route you need to take. Um, since we already had the first Sombre Smithing Stone from, from the guy at the corpse up there uh, in Limgrave, I also went and took another one which which should have had access to a sec uh, uh, level 2 one, but I'm dumb so I remembered wrong. And uh, the Sombre Smithing Stone 2 should be here somewhere. It's that one. Right. Oh, whoops. Should be doing heavis. That should be a strong person thing on too. Yes. And then we just continue north. We're going to pick up a number three and a number four. And then we will get on to the, the Blood Rose farming for a while. Um, not sure how many you would need, but like the, the it's it's the, the more confident you are, and the less uh, times you will die and mess up, so you have to restart a boss fight. The less amount of roses you will have to farm, uh, since the, the the roses are, I think one rose gives ten arrows. I believe it is. Uh, so you have that, and uh, that helps quite a lot. But for sure, if you if you don't feel like you can beat the boss in one go, or if you feel like you you might need more, or you want to have more just in case, farm more. It's a very fast farm, and I will show you how quick it is. Uh, so we grab the the third third one there on the corpse, and we keep moving north. We don't have that map part unlocked yet, but it's very a very simple path, if I remember correctly. It should just be like north of, of where this turns. So it should just be like north from here, more or less. It should not be... We don't, we don't have to go into like a dark part there somewhere. It should be like somewhere on the, along the wall there. It should be, again, a corpse sitting on a chair, I believe. He should be here somewhere, I think. I'm a little bit unsure exactly where, but... Oh, and there he is, right? That's a Sombra Smithing Stone 4. Now, since I did go over here, uh, this is where I picked up uh, the other Sombra Smithing Stone. It is uh, wrong. There was there's supposed to be a two there, but I think that is on a, a hill that you can't really access from this way. I think unless you maybe parkour, but it's uh, regardless, you you don't need this, so we, we can just go straight instead uh, along this route. It's way 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 faster, and then we need to go here to the church of uh, roses, I think, or whatever it's called. Rose Church or something like that, where we will be farming the Blood Roses by suiciding a bunch of times. So it's perfect that we don't have any, any runes, and there is nothing for us to lose. This is uh, normally where uh, White Mask Vara would show up as well, or Wari or whatever. Uh, guy over here. I didn't exhaust his dialogue completely, but he would be standing here normally for the next quest line. And as you see here, we have two roses there. We have one here. We are going to spawn a monster now that's gonna come up here. There he is. And you just die to this guy. Yeah. 
hit me today, please. Thank you. And then you respawn at the stake of Marika here. Here. And that uh, run alone got those 11. So if we have enough uh, thin bones for it, this would be able, uh, allow us to craft 110 uh, blood arrows. I believe it is. We don't we don't have those yet. That cookbook. So we just go in again. Again, you take like this, this. You take these two. You take these three, and then you take the one over here. And then you just die again. Oh, and he he likes to miss. Apparently. I think we got more roses this time because there is a there is a chance of you getting more than just one when you loot them. I'm not exactly sure if it's only two that can drop or if you can ex actually drop three and stuff either. A little bit unsure about that, but uh, multiple can drop. And by looking at it now, I think we are at 24 as you see here. We got 13 that run, so we got two more than we did the first run. All right. So, we're done farming the Blood Roses, and we are back, so I over farmed a little bit, technically, but 143 means we will have 1,400-ish if we get enough bones for it, which is the uh, harder part of the farm, and like the more time-consuming one. Uh, we will be wanting to move to Fort Height to grab our cookbook to be allowed to craft the Blood Arrows. So we need to move over there, but first we will move to take the map in, in the Mistwoods. Uh, hello there, Mr. Mr. Goblin dude. So we're just gonna run across here and we will take a left turn this time instead of a right turn that put it down into the lake. We're instead gonna go left. You can technically do this before going to Kaelid as well if you want to. Uh, neither doesn't change the, the time uh, that, that you have to spend regardless. It, it's kind of the same. It's one one way or the other. Um, I generally just prefer doing Kaelid because it does give you access to, to a bow. Uh, in case you do want to play early on with the bow. But that's about it. And Otherwise, it's it's uh, two quick trips to get the things you need. The most time-consuming part, however, is farming enough runes and especially materials to actually even be able to uh, fight the boss, you know? Because without arrows, how are you supposed to do damage, right? So we got that, and we are being chased, so we are just gonna go up here gonna parkour a bit so he's gonna struggle a bit to follow I picked up a hero room 5 there and here we picked up a green spill crystal tier which is for our physics flask which I think it's under key items yes so this just gives us stamina and this one just gives a charge attack um, I am a bit unsure if this actually boosts the damage of our bow because our bow is technically chargeable. Uh, oh, welcome. So we would have to try that. Yeah, well, I'll you please. I'm what do you have? Let me see, I don't remember. Uh, you have a cookbook too. Beast or pot, we don't need that. What is it? Exalted flash. That one we could use though. That one we could use, that isn't bad. And you do have sleep arrows that I want as well. Ooh, um, can I sell these? We don't need these at all, so we're just gonna sell them. I'm not gonna be able to buy all of them, right? No. Let's buy the cookbook and as many arrows as we can. There's three more, so we're missing 20 for the first one. And then... There we go. And I think I also have enough runes now to... Grab the three remaining sleep arrows that we had in the shop there. They will be very useful later in the game when we are fighting a certain boss. There we go. Uh, 
go, dodge that, dodge the pumpkin, dodge that guy, and dodge that guy, and in we go. They are going to follow, because they are very hungry or something, I'm not sure. the rat now let's see is the whoops why did you do that is the cookbook in here or is it is it the one upstairs I don't remember let's see this is the cookbook. yeah this is the cookbook so now well can't show you but yeah now now we have access to Bloodbone arrows. We are going to attack you. Oh, oops. Dodge. Now the other guy is going to be throwing another thing. We are going to dodge that. We are going to smack you. And that's a dangerous guy. We don't want to fuck around with him. But I think he already aggroed on us, so he's already gonna come here. He is not moving, perfect. Um, don't remember if there's an item out on the left, but we are going to the right and picking up one of the mandatory items, more or less. If you want a smooth progression, without having to go extra bosses and stuff. Um, it's not mandatory, I guess, but it, it, it does help speed up the process of the game which is the first half of the elevator later we're going to go to the round hole table we are going to see how much I can upgrade the bow highly doubt I will have enough to actually upgrade it for um, alright we should also be talking to uh, Rodrique over here I missed that we probably will, the same. Because we're going to... Uh, oh yeah, I already spoke to her, maybe. Great my name is this in this place, in the round table. I never knew, although I'm still looking. I don't, no, so I didn't I'm speak to her, right? I don't know, I've been playing a bit of Elden Ring lately, so I'm not sure You're no mad lad, if I did a display through or not. And there we go. Upgrade it twice. We cannot upgrade it a third time. We're probably gonna need over a thousand. Oh oh. And then let's travel back to. Uh... Yeah, Stormhill Shack is probably the best. We need uh, bones. Thin bones. That's what we, we, we're going to be needing. Uh, as you might see here. This one. It requires three thin bone speed bones. I generally prefer the fletched version. The only real difference is, as you see, the fletching adds distance to the arrow's flight. It doesn't really do much. Uh, you technically do not need it. It is technically just extra. Uh, I prefer having it, but I am not going to spend the time to farm for it, right? Uh, you can go here. As you see, there is a lot of them. And there is a way, like I said, that is better than farming these. Um, we are definitely not gonna need more than 130 arrows for this uh, before we can start going with that. There's one more merchant we need to unlock and a set of grace next to him. That is like mandatory for this playthrough. Or I mean, I guess that's mandatory, but it's if you actually do want to have some kind of damage, you kind of need to. As you might see here in the middle, it is a malformed bow in the shape uh, of a pair of poisonous snakes. Uh, imbues arrows with poison through pagan magic, revealing its true worth uh, when used with poison infused arrows, right? And... Oh, we run into that guy. So... We just go north, and then we are basically following the road, right? I cannot open the map now, I think, but we're basically following the road here. Let me touch this grace. 
Yeah, so we're basically just following the road straight north up here. We get this one here, Kalem Ruins. And then you go straight east. Try not to aggro the doggos, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't think they will follow us. But on the left side of the canyon here, they will follow us if we aggro them. And here you need to jump so you don't die. And then we are making it up here and they sharp left. There's another graze here. That we can take. That isn't really going to be useful for us in any way. And then we have on the right, I can show it actually here somewhere. Uh, over there you might see it on the branch or on the root. There is a somber smithing. Dude, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's what he is. As you see, he's also shit tanky. Oh, that was a mistake, I should have sprinted. Why do I do that? I need to sprint. This one is his rock. He's gonna explode, and we have a Summer Smithing 8, right? Which we have no use for at the moment, but we will eventually. Uh, then you follow this road here. So, as you see, we were over there. That's where he was sitting on the ranch above my head here. That little route. We came from down there, so we just go straight up left. You can basically follow the, the road. Uh, thank you, some free souls. This is a place where you, theoretically speaking, could also farm some bones. Uh, how are the dogs are here? There is a trick to, I guess, get around it. Uh, is he still chasing? I don't know. Let's uh, just sit down in case. So, this guy sells two things that are useful, right? So, first of all, we have the Serpent Bone Arrows. This is like the mandatory part that we need. Because these ones, if paired with the Serpent Bow, has insane poison buildup. Like, massive poison buildup. To the point where one or two arrows is usually going to be enough to trigger a poison. It, it says heavy poison buildup. And you are not to confuse this with lethal poison and or something, because this is the normal poison as far as I understand it. It's not the, the heavy dealing poison. There's two kinds of poison in this game, and you have the Crimson Rot on top of that. Um, so you don't confuse it with that. It, it should just be a normal poison, it's just that it's like very heavy buildup, it's like very quick buildup. And then we have this torch here. This torch here, as I said, a torch which burns oil infused with a special incense. The aroma pacifies wild beasts. Torches such as these were used to keep unwelcome beasts away from treasure troves hidden in caves. The second part is just flavor text. The first part, however, where you pacify the wild beast, if I were to hold uh, if I were to hold the torch, I could walk out here. And these dogs would just circle me and look at me. They would not actually attack me at all. Unless they have the red eyes. That means they are uh, like crazy or like uh, rabid or whatever, right? And at that point, they will attack you. Uh, but as long as they don't have the red eyes, you are perfectly safe, and you can you can use that for a lot of the uh, wild beasts in the game, including like uh, rats, giant rats, and so on. So if you know you are going to be traversing a place where a lot of rats are. Uh, and you find them annoying, or if uh, you are going to be at some place where you know there's a lot of beasts that are just, you know, pesky little annoyances for you, uh, you can technically just grab that torch and like whip it out, and then uh, they won't touch you. Uh, all right, so we also have that now, right? We do need, however, a bunch of souls because we need more than just two serpent arrows. We're gonna need like maybe. Uh, Let's say you need to get 10, maybe, for the first thing that we need to do here. Uh, we can always get more later, 
Uh, I would say, however, that you should probably try and get about maybe, I don't know, let's let's say you want to get like maybe uh, close to 100 at least for the first part. Or like fif at least 50, at least 50. 100 might be a bit over overboard, but like 50 would be nice. Uh, and I, I, again, obviously, if you do die and you, you fail at, you know, uh, playing or whatever and like killing a boss in the first try, then you're obviously going to have to uh, need more. We are triggering these dogs like this, and then we return back to the fight where everyone is, and we try and dodge them so they don't hit us, and we just go and sit at the grace. We don't sit down, we just stand next to it. Because if we sit down, everything resets, right? So we just sit here, we can look at that direction a bit, and we're going to get some souls. So I will be back when I have enough souls to comfortably level up and use the bow, to uh, be able to upgrade it to plus four, and to be able to uh, buy some more serpent arrows. So I'll see you then. Alright. We are back. I have bought a few of the Serpent Arrows now, so we have 63, which I think is more than enough for what we are going to do now. Um, we are only going to need maybe a maximum of 5, 10. I'm not sure, it depends on, on how shit I play. Um, we did need 3 levels to get the 15 Dexterity, so that's what we're going to be doing now. And we also needed some... Uh, to upgrade, right? We needed some to upgrade a bow. I do think we have enough for that in general. So we sit down, we level up three times. We are left with 2000 souls now. This is the minimum level I can have to actually be able to equip the serpent bow on its own without any, any talismans. We have also equipped the talisman here. Whoops, there we go. It raised attack power of arrows and bolts. I do believe it's by 10%. Uh, regardless, it's a damage boost. We are going to be wanting that. And we are going to go to the table, upgrade our bow, uh, and then we are going to see what happens. Or you're going to see where we're going, rather. Um, well, lay out your arms then, strength this, there we go. We do not have a 5 yet, we will get that later. Uh, but, but we shouldn't be needing that either. A plus 4 bow is already uh, a lot higher than what you normally would have at this point in the game. So we're already a bit overgeared like that, but we are also not going to be scaling the bow damage really by uh, well, leveling our stats it's not really gonna help we're going to go to stormhill shack and it needs to be night time make sure that it's a fresh night because i don't know how much time passes when i fast travel and then we run there again uh, we're going to take a strict like detour here because we do not want to pull the kaisers i think they're called we only want the boss that spawns over here, and now we're going to see if my skills are doable or not. He is still here. Why is he here? Why is he the one here? Why does that make be a very strong foe? Yeah, I know. Where of ill omen creature. But like, why doesn't he spawn? Thank you. see you. We're shooting you once. Then we're running away a bit. Then we're shooting you twice. That should poison you. Yes. And I can't dodge. I suck. Why do I do that? Oh, well, I 
way of moving through Kaisers. Why don't I do? I run that way also, not the other way, is because if I move the other way, I'm going to spawn a bunch of wolves, and we do not want that. Why do I, why do I greed? Is this still poison? Far from a good fight, very sloppy, very bad played, but he is down, we have the Bone Padless Bell Bearing, which is exactly what we want, so we can uh, again go to the uh, table, and we will give this to the Twin Maidens, and we are going to be able to now buy the bones that we need, so we aren't going to have to ever farm for our, uh, our bones. There we go, purchase, as you can see there, 150, uh, a little bit of a price, but again, 150 runes is absolutely nothing, once you do get a little bit further in the game, I can already buy 20 of them, um, so let's do that, and we can, as you can see, already craft, then another 7, so 70 blood arrows, which is massive. So we have that done. Now we can move on to uh, Stormhill Shack is the one I have the furthest up actually. But yeah, we have that down. So one of the more, not mandatory, but quality of life steps is uh, done. So we will move on to the next, the next goal here, which is to get into Stormhill Castle. We will move on from there. But as you saw, my 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 shots did like 200 and something damage, right? Uh, with the mighty shot, like the Ash of War, and uh, it's a bit of a slower attack, but it's also heavy damage dealing. So it's definitely worth using. But you do need to like consider consider the the time uh, when to use it and when not to use it, because you don't you don't want to accidentally trade a blow just because you are. Reading a shot. We will not use Roger here because it's a bit of a cheese. Alright, we will instantly do a mighty shot with a poison arrow and we're going to dodge this one. And we do one more and he should be poisoned. Yeah, see, two arrows. And now we are going to make it over to the other side. I dodged too early. shot here. Mighty shot will also uh, cause uh, bleed ups to be a lot, a lot uh, higher. The mighty shot after he does sleep. And every time we do a uh, build up or something. Oh, I hate the sword. So every time he does a... Oh, fuck the same. Every time he does a... Uh, or you fucking bleed up, 
a build up on a like so bleeding or poison for instance he will have higher resistance to it meaning that it's uh, it's going to get harder and harder to rock it every time Oh, that's reached! Okay. Oh, this is bad. First try this guy was with the setup where you know essentially not a lot of you know like I've played for nearly two hours now. Uh, I still would consider that kind of quick into the game. Not very 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 far. Uh, we will level up here a little bit. Uh, so I will level up let's say bigger to let's go fifteen. That would be enough for now. Let's keep it at that. And then we can do. Uh, keep pressing the wrong one. We go back to table. We buy bones for the rest, I guess. So we can craft even more blood arrows, because that is mainly what we will be using. We're only going to be using the actual serpent arrows for. Uh, like tougher targets and stuff. There we go. We can now craft, and as you will see, we can now craft 17, so 117, or 170, I mean, uh, arrows, which is a lot better. So, first real boss, I guess, kinda, down, target the fellow man. So we're just gonna traverse the castle, and we're gonna make it over to uh, Godric the Grafted, and we will down him as well. At least that's the goal. Uh, normally I shouldn't be taking damage in these fights, like I should be able to just dodge the the attacks they have and just, just continuously move away from them. Uh, but I, I am a bit greedy, I don't really know the movesets too well. And, yeah. it's, uh, not a very good combo, right? So, we will... We will take the side gate, because the main gate is a death trap, we do not want to go there, especially with this low HP. We want to see if we can kill him in one shot. We cannot. Oh, well. There is another one. Can we trigger that one too? We do not reach. He's gonna hit the wall. No, okay, we don't reach him. Where is the thing? I... He's up there, okay. Well, then we kill you. Goodbye. Because these birds are pretty nasty. And then the Stormark Feathers is something we want to be farming as well later on because they are mandatory for the strongest arrow in the game but as of yet we are not going to bother because it's too much of a hassle you're gonna blow blow in that horn Greed. I'm a little bit interested in seeing how I'm gonna fight against the knight that's coming in here that we need to kill to continue. Uh... So, 
uh, I don't remember what it is over here. There is the guy over there, though. There's an item here somewhere, too. What is it? Oh, yeah, hook loss. Alright. So, moving our way up. We still have a mana flask, so we can still use the remainder of our FP before we need to heal. We kill you. Can I get the target of you? I cannot. Thank you. You helped me a lot, sir. Uh, goodbye. Playing with a bow is obviously a very different playstyle, and you have a lot of perks by being ranged. Meaning you can, for instance, take out enemies such as that guy without them even knowing where you are. Which gives you the bonus damage of being unaware. As you might have seen, that damage did 200 something. Meanwhile, the others did like 170, 180, right? 244 even. Because I was closer. And that's a gold run too, nice. So it's it's definitely it's definitely a, a thing. Uh, we have like 300 arrows of these. So it's gonna last us for quite some time, unless obviously I end up dying for no reason in a boss fight and stuff. So we have to reset, then we have to re-kill things, which is gonna not be as good. I will waste my FP potion here, because I don't care. And I don't know if we can see it, but that's a knight. So you might see the helmet of him there, there, the shiny part is a knight. I don't think I can target him in any way. Does this work actually? Is that hitting him you think? Okay, probably not. This is a cutscene where we are getting locked in. A bit unsure. Oh no. easier than I thought. Uh, that's the rusty key we need. We can also probably go and pick up a lantern at some point here when we get 1,800 or so. Um, runes from one of the uh, merchant vendors. But I'm not sure if we have them yet. I think they're a bit further. Either more south in, in the Weeping Venezuela or we need to go, I think, clear any of the lakes or so for the closest one. I'm a bit unsure. A torch is not really an option for us, so... We do want, want the lantern, I think, is that? And... Uh, get rid of you. And we're gonna jump. And we get rid of you. We cannot dodge in time, because I was greeting a mighty shot. Greed is good, right? That's just a brick hammer, we don't really need that, so we don't really need to go here, but if you go here and you... Whoops. Well, is he coming or not? Guess he ain't. behind me. Did he fall? Oh no, he's there. Are you gonna be shooting, bro? 
really? Alright. Uh, excuse me. Oh my god. Really? And I Holy. Alright, well, you go in where that guy was, and there is the. There is the brick camera there. I don't really care for the item myself, but if you do want it, it's a great hammer. It's fairly decent as a blunt weapon or a strike weapon, so you can get in there. And otherwise, we have we ignore you because I don't care. Get hit in the back, probably. Yeah, just one. Get rid of you, and now it's another tough knight over here. I don't want to fight with him, ideally, so I'm gonna... Alright, fuck it. We are... Poisoning this guy. Uh, we are running away. Are you gonna drop off me? across as well, right? Yeah. Why did he stop there though? But yeah, I, I guess the bow is very safe, and especially since uh, you can do what I just did and, and continuously fall back to a previous location where you have cleaned out everything. Uh, and there is not gonna be a single enemy if you clear it out actually. And you can safely kite them around, or if you find a good area to kite them. I could probably have kited him around the elevator here, to be honest. Like, probably did not need to move all the way out there, right? But... I did. It is what it is. Uh, so we sit down here. We we could level up again, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna try and keep it lo relatively low. I just wanted some figure to... To uh, allow for a bit of... Mistakes. This ain't gonna kill it. No. And that's not gonna hit. And you went down for some reason. You are going to get up there. Alright. And then we can. Uh, did I actually reach it? I don't think I reach him here. Okay, those are one, one shot, one kill. Because they poison in one hit. Unless they kill in the first shot, they will then poison and then they will die regardless. This is not a fun place with these birds, because of the fact that, well, these are exploding. Are explosive barrels, and these fuckers, there's a bird on the left there that I don't want to fuck with. In there. Uh, they, they are carrying explosive barrels and they drop them as they fly towards you. And make all the other barrels explode as well right i think we can even see him over there right yeah you see he just triggered there and he just threw a barrel and now it's hitting the wall so we can go here uh we have this guy here i don't wanna have you around either so i'm gonna poison shot you right you got poison why did i shoot another one then there we go. Are you gonna move up? You are. We're going to shoot you too. Goodbye. And then if you drop down on the other side, normally we aren't going to be using this. Oh my god. What the fuck is that doing there? It's fell to its death. Alright. So that I was in Kukris, so I'm just gonna use them to settle them for roots. And then the here we have uh, Sorcerer Rogier, the guy you can summon for the first Margit fight. I see, you can see Margit. I'm time, right. but um, I'm still. I'm privy to a few. He has a story a of his own. The quest that you can do. He sells you magic stuff. Uh, completely useless to us, so I'm not gonna bother. And we don't have to kill these guys, but. 
you know, there is there is two there. We could take them. Ah, fuck it. It's just some extra rooms, but whatever. Waste of arrows too, or mono. Uh, small little butterflies. Rip. All right. Now down there, not that you go from this side, but down there is a whetstone blade that is useful if you want to infuse your weapons with things, but since we're using a somber weapon here, we can't really infuse it either. So it has no value to us. So there's no reason for me to go there and waste a stone sword key. Uh, I'm not sure if we want to fuck around with the grafted. Can I even shoot it from here? Accidentally jump down to it. Can I potentially get on the railing? Can I poison it? Yeah, two arrows and it's poisoned. Nice. We're just gonna be able to allow it to slowly bleed out. the big dog and then we're going to deal with you because you're the small dog whoops I think I heard the guy trigger in there no there is I think one more dog somewhere okay I'm not gonna waste my arrow now we're gonna go here I'm gonna say goodbye. We are going to go and buy more serpent arrows before we do Godric. This is why I'm using them a bit freely here. Uh, because it's totally okay. That's gonna miss. That is going to miss. Okay, we're going to wait until he reaches here. So he walks towards us. That should poison him. It did not. That should poison him, right? Yeah. He's done. We go up on the roof here. I don't remember what is up here though. Uh, that's the thing. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go this way if it's if it's anywhere that progresses you to a different area. I don't remember. Um, all right, it doesn't. It, it's what takes us here. Let's get some loot, so we can do this. So we do that, we can open this door, which leads to a guy who's standing there. Kill him too. Now if I walk out here, do you see where this is? This is where the... does this hit? Yeah. But this is down where the graft is, that I was shooting earlier. And if we go out here... Kill him. We have a stone sword key. We have that one there. And we have a pickle turtle net. Amazing, right? Oh, that's gonna shoot him to the ground. Oh well. Uh, yeah, so we go this way. No way. Wait, what was that way? Is it just a window? Oh, it's just a window. So, is there another dog down here? I don't remember. But whatever. We go this way. We don't have any more FP though, so. Game a bit more. 
It's just there is headshots and stuff in this game too, right? Uh, I should probably be. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're angry, dude. There is uh, headshot modifiers in this game, so headshotting something does make them take a lot more damage usually. And it is how I'm going to have to kill some of the bosses later on by actually manually aiming for their head because they are so tanky and they need to, well, die before I run out of arrows. Um, down here is where the doggos were, which we killed there. That's the lump of flesh we got, there's a crimson hood, and then there is a gold bird. Uh, the Crimson Hood is very good as it adds Vigor, so as you can see we get 16 Vigor here Which again gives us more health, so we will be using that and it's kind of fitting to have a, a hood as a Ranger, I think We will be going up here, unlocking the shortcut, get back to the grace we were at previously and We have it here, we can sit down, things are going to respawn but that is irrelevant aren't going to have to kill things that we have already killed because we are not moving that direction. We are moving further, not backwards. So this this way. And the grafted does not respawn. So that's good. Out here is the the fog wall that I mentioned earlier where you can get your uh, you can get your uh, whetstone thing. It's inside here. I don't want to open though, because I don't want to waste a stone sword. I don't have a whole lot. And we are moving this way. Also, we want to get our hands on a bow called the Black Bow later. Because that's a longbow which means you shoot further but it's a longbow that has the move set of a short bow which uh, allows you to essentially roll and uh, roll and shoot oh. so we look at that guy now, right? I'm gonna try and headshot him, right? I think it's so hard with a controller to aim like slightly. It's so sensitive. Whatever. That's above him. That's a headshot, 236, right? Compared to if I just do this, 157. You see, both of them were unaware. The damage difference was like roughly 80. Which proves that headshot damage, right? The same thing here, so like, it's just way better if I aim for the head. 178. He is aware of me though. The reason he isn't moving is because he's behind the uh, flamethrower. Same there, 118, right? Because not a headshot. Yes, I'm using a lot of serpent arrows now. I'm nearly running out of them. This is like normal mobs, I don't really need to. Uh, it is because I am about to go and buy a bunch. So I'm not too fussy about it. You can't shoot me, right? No. You die from one, you do. Nice. This gives us a bunch of 
nice souls. One, almost one of these uh, kills here is nearly enough for one serpent arrow on its own. Since we need 120 for one serpent arrow. And I get, what, 114? Yeah. So, one of these dudes killed is essentially one serpent arrow. Which, this is a big guy, so we are going to use a serpent arrow. And boom. Gave more souls to, I believe. Uh, I really want to get up there. I don't remember how to do it though. Essentially, there is a, there is a way. I just don't remember how to. Um, so you gotta run along the walls, do stuff. All right, we've cleared out this section. We have. Uh, I don't think there's a bunch to loot here. Normally speaking. Here, grab this, don't know what it is, wooden great shield. How useless. I'll sneak because I don't want to aggro this guy. Never mind. I'll just jump. I don't think he aggros. Yeah, good. And we're at the next save point, basically. So that's lovely. We don't have any of the shortcuts yet. We should actually sit down, get our flask and FB back. And we have the fun part. The birds here that I don't like. Uh, I don't know if this is close enough. I think this might be close enough. Hopefully you die to one. Yeah, you are poisoned. Lovely. Are you going to die to that poison is my question though. They hurt. Little birdie wordy. There is one more of them over there. And again, you can see the barrels on the uh, right here, the red ones. They are. Uh, oh wow. They are explosive barrels, so they are. Why did I do a mighty shot there? I should have just done a normal one. But yeah, as you can see, these birds are like not to play around with. To be honest, they, they hurt pretty hard and are hit pretty hard. And they, with the fire, it's very easy for them to explode the um, explosive barrels here. It's one of the more annoying enemies in the game, I feel. The birds. Or well, like flying enemies, I should say in general, is extremely annoying to deal with. our last serpent arrow. Oh wow. Oh wow. I think there's one or two NP human NPCs here too in this little compound with the barrels, I'm not sure. I believe there is. Yeah, see, there's one there. Boom. Uh, now, if you go in here, there is Nefella Lu. You can do her quest line. You were a fine warrior. Uh, Sure if you want to do that. Maybe. Well, tarnished, I am the fellow. I'm here by the cow. She's not really like none of these really have anything to do with bows, so it's like kind of whatever. The winds run from certain but far. might as well just exhaust her dialogue. Yeah, okay. fellow down whatever. Pass fellow town down whatever. It's that's it. We can go here and get another golden seed. I think it is right. It should be because it's a, uh, one of those trees. Yeah, and then we go in here. Another item, smithing stone. Again, we don't really need it. 
we can do so we kill you and then we can do so we kill you all right and then we can i greet it Said it, I realize. Oh well, why did it? Basically, 1200 souls, and we are at God Rector Grafted, so we are going to touch this grace, we are going to travel and buy more arrows, and we're gonna see how this goes. And I think that's it for episode number one. And we will come back later at another point and try and progress further into the, the story and see where, where it will take us. Maybe you guys have some ideas, so you can drop it down in the comments. Otherwise, uh, probably just continue with the lake, I think. Uh, we'll see, though. So there's that. Now we can go back to... Secluded Cell. And we try with Godric. And this guy is a bit more... Alive than the first boss. And I'm not very good at his mechanics either. Or movesets either. So... It's gonna be interesting for sure. Um, his phase two is a lot worse than his phase one. Don't know how many arrows I need to. Oh well. Poison him. Uh, excuse me. Oh, why am I doing this? That is a poison though, he is going to create the things that he shoots, so we're gonna dodge that one, and we're gonna dodge that one. Then we're gonna start pelting him with blood arrows, to get the blood beat up. Which is our best bet, I think, he's gonna do another one of those. Oh, he shoots them back! So, I don't know if you realize that, but he just flung the arrow back at us. We are too close, I don't like it. So I want to get away from you. That's a bleed rock. So he's doing his cutscene thing. Where the frickin' fuck are you going, dude? this time to might the shots in a normal one. And 
See? He shot the arrow back. He still took damage, but he shot the arrow back. That's a mechanic I did not know existed in this game. From one of those wind things like that. I know you can uh, you can block uh, spells and then retaliate with it, by basically summoning swords or something of your own and doing it. But uh, arrows, I haven't heard of you being able to deflect like that. But why not? You could do it in Dark Souls 3, I believe. Or yeah, it might have been here, I don't know. It's been too long. But yeah. So, Stormwell Castle, not really an issue. Um, two and a half hour. Basically, we, we spent two hours on farming out our character and half an hour on uh, getting the Bell Bearing Hunter and the uh, Stormwell Castle done. There is a bunch of shit you can loot in the castle though, uh, including another boss if you go if you drop down under, uh, which I don't care about because it's just it's just extra stuff. None of it is really like bow related as far as I remember. Uh, I think there is a cookbook or something that is bow related in here uh, that I might go and get next playthrough or next uh, next episode. Uh, oh, but there is nothing that uh, I think it's a stormhawk arrow, which is the best arrow in the game. But it's nothing that I feel like I, I need to go and do now. And the ways is where I'm not really planning on using it as of right, like right now. Um, yeah, we bought the feathers because again they're used to to craft the stormhawk feathers, which is uh, raw physical damage uh, arrows, which deals decent damage, but they they have the special effect of having a 150% poise damage, or if it's 150% bonus, I'm a bit unsure, but they have highest poise damage in the game. Which means you can a lot of the time stagger bosses and monsters, giving you breathing room and uh, repositioning time. So they are uh, superior than everything else. As well as uh, if paired with the Rain of Fire, I believe it is, uh, or Rain of Arrows, you have um, you have a massive like poise sta stagger uh, on it. So yeah, I think that's it for me. And then I'll see you guys in the next episode. Alright. Have a good one.